Hey guys, what's up? Angry Joe and other Joe here. Three hours ago was released the Blade Runner trailer, and because on Twitter uh, and on Twitch, uh, my my peeps is fast. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna check this out together. Excited about Blade Runner. Let's see whether they confirm whether Deckard is a replicant or not, or uh, what they do exactly uh, with the story. Um, it, it looks to be about two minutes, twenty-two seconds long. Let's dive right in, shall we? Three, two, one. Go! Is this one of those, like... Yeah, well, I don't know why they're all doing that. <laughs> why do they all do that? Okay, yeah. Liking the, the geography, geometry. Was built off the back of a Jared Leto. Force. Look like, right? That's weird. Not that is. Like so many. Ooh, we get to see a replicant born. We've never seen Happy, that I'm bird. Do that it, to was, you. Happy it was. Happy uh, birthday! It was nasty. <laughs> yes, the That's music. What we, do here. we keep order. Oh, the music is good here. The world is built on a wall that separates kind. Okay, world needs to be good. Now either side, there's no wall. Looks, looks like it's you good. That's the replicant, I guess. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Get a little crazy with their uh, yeah. I did your job once. statues. I was good at it. Well, see, he's aged, yeah. so he he can't be a replicant. What do you want? I want to ask you some questions. Look like he got roughed up. to the future is finally unearthed. Okay, I'm glad to see that I can actually Wait, see shit. You know? I was a little worried for the first trailer. I always told you. You're special. Oh shit! The story isn't over yet. Is he a replicant? You're special. Okay, that was a lot better than I thought it would be. Honestly, I was a little disappointed with the initial teases that we got from Blade Runner 2049. I felt like Ghost in the Shell had gotten that sort of future world right, uh, and I couldn't see, yeah, because I couldn't see much. It was like hard to see in the previous trailer, very dark, very non-colorful, but as you can see here, if we go through the various scenes, you're, you're they getting- They lit up a bit, they got a lot of color. They got a lot of color. You know, when you're in the city, I wanted to see this sort of, uh, you know, crazy advertisements and shit like that. And we do get that. Uh, so I'm not sure why they do these stingers now. Um, I guess uh, movie studios uh, have, have gotten an advisor and the advisor told them, look, on YouTube, people are stupid and they have the attention span of a four-year-old, so you have to hit them with a stinger first of five seconds yeah. to grab their attention and then move on. Our society is degrading to what you see here. Uh, <laughs> not just late. So, okay, anyway, so you can see the architecture, you know, it looking really good. I would assume here that these are uh, some either failed replicants or replicant prototypes of some kind. Um, this is a company that perhaps makes them uh, and these are how they're born. We, and that we've is not the creator, Jared Leto. <laughs> maybe, maybe we've not seen how they're born. Looks pretty <laughs> nasty. They it come is. through like, this what, little, what little fucking goop and little fucking vagina sauce. I mean, who knows what? I don't know what that is. It just does. It, it looks like uh, Dookie uh, and some uh, placenta uh, maybe mixed in there. So. Uh, Looks pretty interesting. Uh, they, it gets a little smoky um, during these scenes, and I love it's all the architecture. The fucking emissions, man. 
Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. It's well, hey, man, we fucking warned y'all about fucking <laughs> climate change and fucking carbon emissions. But you know what? The corporations are more powerful than us since they're people, too. And yeah. this is what you end up with. So uh, that's pretty cool. We got this here. Uh, got the guns looking correct for the universe. Um, loving the lighting, uh, it really does evoke, uh, you know, give you some feelings of the, the first music. film. The music, in particular, which you can't hear as I'm scanning through here. Uh, th these these statues are a little goofy. I'm gonna need to know the story behind these statues. Uh, did water usually come out of there, or <laughs> even did... if water came out through there, it would still be like what? The okay, fuck is maybe this? something was going in instead. <laughs> Okay, I'll get my mind out of the gutter. But anyways, uh, the world <laughs> looks pretty awesome. Again, climate change. What did me and Joe tell you? We told y'all, you know, no we told y'all nobody listen. Why are you defunding the EPA, <laughs> Trump? You fuck things up. Look. All right. And then we've got Deckard looks like he's holed out here uh, in some kind of uh, maybe uh, substation, uh, you know, train station or something. Uh, it's a Grand Central Station. I don't know. It had some 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 Korean right in there, or maybe Japanese. I'm not sure what, uh, or maybe Chinese. You know, I'm not familiar enough with that. Um, so I'm glad to see he's back. Um, you know, if, if you did the Blade Runner film without him, it would feel like something's missing. But at the same time, they did that character so perfectly. I, I don't want him to fuck it up. Well, maybe you just need some closure. They're gonna give you some closure here. Well, we did. We did have closure, uh, and and I like movies that left it up to interpretation. So so now we see him. Did did, did he end up with the girl in the end? Uh, did did she die? Did did you know what what exactly is the closure here? He's obviously alive, so that means that he's not a replicant because the replicants can only live for a certain amount of time. Uh, unless he's found a way to extend his life, I don't think so. No. I think that uh, you know they're just he just got old and he's just he a human. This motherfucker is a replicant, guaranteed. He looks too perfect, uh, Ryan Gosling, and it that's would, just the way the man looks. It would be <laughs> very very familiar uh, if if that's the case here. And uh, this chick kind of reminds me of the first chick in in Blade Runner. You know that yeah. sort of uh, creepy eye makeup a little bit. Um, I wonder how she factors into it. But I'm glad to see there's good lighting uh, and, and everything looks good. Maybe a little too much fog in these areas, but they're trying to go for a certain style. And we've got uh, Drax here uh, playing a character. <laughs> Maybe he'll steal the show again. I don't know. Maybe he comes up uh, with some jokes. But you got some cool I interior designs of ships. I'm always a big fan of that. And then uh, we're guaranteed at least one uh, replicant fight scene of some kind towards the end of the film, it looks like. Here, it's very heavily uh, implying that he is... Special to you. You're special. Heavily implying something there. What you think that is is up to interpretation. And look, he's going through maybe some birth records here or something, and they aren't there missing. or they're missing. I don't know. Anyways, super awesome. Blade Runner 2049. Uh, really looking forward to it. What about you, Joe? Oh, yeah. I want to find out what makes him so special. <laughs> 10, 16. So October 6th. Looking forward to it. See you guys on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys.